Mucky rutting. <laughs> Hello, welcome back to the channel. It's Saturday. I'm out for a ride with my friend Tom and I've got a wonky GoPro again, sorry. So it's the first dry ride with my bike all nicely run in. <laughs> yeah, I'm with my mate Tom on his Multistrada 950, so we're kind of engine buddies. Engine buddies. He's in my head. Uh, we've uh, paired up the old Cardo Pactual Bolds um, to test them out. Big spiky thing to crash into. Hey. I was thinking, yeah, I'm not going to wheelie off that crest because I'm going to get turned into a Ducati kebab on a farmer's implement. Eee, lots of houses for sale. I wish I had millions of pounds. Right. This should be a roundabout. It is. Ah, we're going to go past Mole Valley cars, which I've never looked around. Uh, it's uh, my local uh, Weissman dealer, as you do. They used to have lots of very interesting cars. They used to be a TVR dealer, I think. Oh yeah, there we go. And um, I don't know, since COVID, since COVID, it looks like they've just bought normal cars <laughs> for stock that are actually going to sell. So, okay, SLK, Aston, GT86, and... Uh, I think all the interesting stuff is hidden. We've got... <laughs> Ooh. Ah, it's nice to be on dry roads again rather than the miserable wet and mucky stuff from my last video. Yours is? Ah, thank you. I've just been complimented on the sound of my bike. It's, it's pretty quiet on stock exhaust, but it's a nice quality noise. And uh, when you short shift, it just goes... Bah, 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 bah. Yeah, the Multistrad 950 that Tom's riding, there's a lot more airbox noise than this, which is quite fun in its own way, but this has got more exhaust fartage. We're heading to a road that I found the other day on the Harley Livewire, and I thought, ah, well, I wasn't worrying about electricity running out, this would be quite fun. Oh, actually, I think we're going the wrong way for it. <laughs> um, yes, um, I'm a bit geographically confused. Ooh, hello, it's JDM household there. But it, yeah, it's nice being able to rev this out a bit more freely than before. Look at that! Hello, Surrey! It does have a big dip up here. And you go into a village called, or is it called Winterfold, which sounds very... A hamlet, sorry, and it sounds very Games of Thronesy. That bit's so much fun, you see your eyeballs sink into your gut. Ah, Autumn, you're so pretty. My, my hidden objective today is still to try and find a McDonald's. Oh, uh, Billy's, but do they just do fry-ups? Oh, I, I've had a sausage roll for breakfast, so... Uh, I went to the local vineyard for breakfast, because that's just who I am. <laughs> I am a sorry wanker. Right, I need to not go sailing past the entrance to this road, because... Oh, I just <laughs> flicked a stone up in Tom's face. Stone cucky! Right, it's here. Stay there, Mr. Suzuki Solwift. Oh, there's a mini going down here as well. Ooh. It was a loud bang. It felt like I got hit in the head with something. <laughs> Ooh. 
I would say having heated grips is quite nice. They're only on low, but just, you know, keeping your digits lukewarm. Nice houses, nice houses, and a nice little doggy too. Easy jet from Gatwick. That was, that was fun. Remember to break for the corner. Yeah, that wasn't a very nice corner. <laughs> that was a nasty corner. I remember that. To new viewers, I have some good news. Next week, I'm going to be spending some time with the BMW S1000 XR. It's all booked in on doing it, and I'm going to have it for a week or two, I think. So, if you're into 1000cc, force under not quite adventure bikes, then stay tuned. Uh, yeah, it's got my, got, got my DRLs on. It's being complimented on the looks of my bike by Thomas on his uh, Multistrada 950, that road's terrible. Ugh. It's a very pointy house, isn't it? Buttercup Cottage. A little phone booth, it's quite nice. Ugh. Bumpy, bumpy. Uh, no, you've not flicked anything in my face. Not stones, not semen. Ah, <laughs> uh, the polo club, there we go. Heading Guildford Woods now, I think, or west. There's no McDonald's here though, so this won't do. Right, Tom's just going in to pay for uh, petrol because he owes me lunch, frankly. Um, the beauty of using intercoms such as the Cardo Pack Talk Bold plug is that I can distract him when he's in the shop. Yes, yes, I would like number three, seven, and a pint of your finest jism, please. Yes, no fresh, fresh is better, yes. Oh yeah, if you can warm it up as well, yes, I'll just drink it that way. It'll go down much easier. Do you take contactless? Oh, no, it's okay. I've swallowed your load. Thank you, Tom. <laughs> It's always important to have a jacket that matches your motorbike and and your hair as well. Uh, yeah, so this is uh, this is Cranley. That pub's really nice. I sat in there while charging a Harley, and uh, the cafe back there, or is it here? Yeah, 140. Apparently, no, that's a clothing shop. I, no, I think it's a cafe as well. Apparently, it does one of the best breakfasts in the world. So, apparently, this village has the longest, thinnest high street in England. Uh, potential, potential fact. Come on, lads. You can get bus through there. Not if there is someone desperately trying to park some kind of pickup truck. I feel like this, this RAV4 is about to get shunted by that pickup truck. Come on, bastard. No dilly dallying. I mean, I wouldn't like to be trying to do this parallel park in this, uh, in this Hilux, but hey. Loads of room. Not. Right, my bike's on 877 miles. Look at this, a nice village green and some ponds. Am I going the right way? <laughs> KDB Autos. That's nice. They spelt Cranley wrong, they spelt Cranley wrong. Whee! Motorbike in. Uh, <laughs> yeah, Tom did just have a massive moment on a roundabout. And he got his foot down and then nearly had a had a whoopsie. Not doing it, not doing it, not doing it. So we're trying for weird reasons we're trying to get to a Harley Davidson dealer and apparently this is the road to get to the Harley Davidson dealer. I think Tom is full of shit. Do some skids on that mod. Oh yeah, you you came around the corner and there's motorbikes. This is the main road. 
to Guildford. <laughs> so it's very pretty. No, I know, but they're quite old medieval banks and it's quite nice. Ah, that is pretty, see? Look at that, people. Don't go Ah, uh, you can go faster than that. Come on, Mr. Volvo. I always think roads like this could just be out of Game of Thrones. Just people trotting along. You've never watched Game of Thrones? Okay. Okay. You probably should. The people should be out coming up banks with spears. There'll be people walking around with their boobs out. It's great. Dragons. Oh no, I forgot because. <laughs> You're not one for. Not one for boobies. Alright. Thank you! It is mad, isn't it, that it's September and there are already conkers on the floor. Oh yeah, you don't get much grip on an acorn even with Pirelli Super Corsair SPs. Squ squirrels chuck acorns at ginger people. I think it's a T junction <laughs> before you get too carried away. I, I'm kind of not that bothered about the Harleys now. I kind of just want McDonald's. But... Oh, I was making noises earlier about how lovely it was that it's not raining, and obviously that was a mistake because I'm wearing jeans and summer gloves, and now it's raining. Hooray! I uh, just parted ways with Tom, we had a delicious scone in a garden centre somewhere near Hazelmere. He's going home, I'm going home. It's been fun actually, just riding with a mate, not having to worry about rev limits or anything like that. And just opening the old hypermotard up a bit. You might have noticed that I don't go in for the whole referring to a bike as she or her. Um, because it's gross. It's just disgusting. I don't know why people do it. I think if Jimmy Savile was a vlogger, he would say that. Oh, she's ticking along nicely. Oh, yes, yeah, she's beautiful in the overtake and in the bends. She handles superbly. It's just a bit gross, isn't it? Let's be honest. So I don't do it. It's horrible. These are lumps of metal and plastic. Sure, I like them. I just don't think they're people, and it's a bit sad to anthropomorphise them. Anthropomorphise? I can't remember. To do that thing. So I don't do it. Nor should you, frankly. It's pervy and weird. Enough about that. Um, yeah. Hopefully I'm not going to get too soaked. Riding home. It's been fun. I dare say we're definitely into the depths of autumn now. I'm a bit chilly. I've got my heated, my new heated grips on, on medium. Though I keep hitting the switch because I'm one of these. Um, quite a lot of you are like this, probably. Um, compulsive indicator checkers. You know, you're always clicking the indicator in to make sure they're definitely off and you're not accidentally going along for five miles with the indicators on. I don't need to worry about that because uh, it's got self-cancelling indicators on this. But I still do it, uh, and annoyingly, the indicator button does reset the trip and stuff, so quite a few times I've looked down and I've only done zero miles, which is annoying because I use the trip to measure, or guess, how much fuel I've used, and when I reset the trip by accident, it kind of screws my calculations up a bit. So yeah, that is a downside to this bike, um, not the fuel thing, the, the fact that if you press the indicator button it changes modes and resets the trip, and now it change, turns on my heating grips. I tried to show you this on a video the other day, but I lost the audio. It doesn't say heated grips, it's heating grips on the Hype Motard 950. I think it's, so it's got a bit lost in translation there. I'm looking forward to buying a nice autumn jacket and staying toasty and warm. I like this sign as well. Caution, frogs! <laughs> I think that must be one of the only frog warning signs in the UK. There can't be that many. What am I going to do with that information? What am I going to do with that, that information? I'm not out to kill frogs. I'm not out to run them over deliberately. But chances are I'm not going to see them till it's too late if I'm in a car. And I'm not going to be slamming the brakes on 
to save a frog's life, especially if there's a car up my ass. Looks like it's a popular day for D of E. Duke of Edinburgh Award if you don't live in the UK. It's where when you're like 15, 16, you do some volunteering in your local community, and then you walk up a hill with a rucksack on, and some old royal with big ears gives you a certificate to say that you've done it. It is a good thing. Because lots of kids sit in school and just learn school things. They don't learn outdoorsy things, which is quite useful. I did a bunch of, this is probably not a surprise uh, to any of you. I did a bunch of stuff as a kid. I did army cadets at school. I was in the CCF, the Combined Cadet Force. And um, I was in the officer training corps at university where I got paid to dick about with guns and alcohol. Um, but I did learn some useful things like map reading and general kind of like hiking skills. Got to play with guns, yes. Which is quite a rarity in the UK, I know in America you have guns in schools anyway. Um, but yeah, it was good. It's good that kids get the chance to get outdoors and do some stuff that isn't just learning maths or geography or English. Because, you know, it's nice to have a more rounded education than tests on paper. Right, how did I get onto this? I'm meant to be talking about motorbikes. I'm sorry, yeah, I keep doing this. I'm gonna probably end this now. Right, anyway, thank you for watching. Sorry it's been weird and brief again. And I'll see you soon. Please like, comment, subscribe, all that bollocks. Um, stay safe, stay warm, enjoy autumn. And remember, you're more handsome than you think. Bye.